They're all after me. Tell me, isn't the whole point of a digestive system producing a nervous system to predict, prepare, choose between potential alternative actions, like yeah, the, which way to run, or if yeah. it's really a tiger, and all of that stuff? Absolutely. If it's only a function of the brain. Yeah. But there isn't a me in there that's saying that, it's just fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, as far as, as me can see here, uh, a me is that which, the, that aspect of the internal simulation, what we call the real world, uh, that's to be promoted and protected. What well, the me is? The me is. Well, it depends what you mean by me that needs protection. For me, the me is an artificial construct. Yeah, it absolutely. It. Absolutely an artificial construct that includes the body. It includes oh, no, um, a, a sense of, I mean, you know, the, the system has to know that when something comes over there, this ought to happen. I know, but me doesn't need to know that. The, the, the brain, the brain is. The brain does, and, and clearly, whatever a me is, it's a fiction yeah, it's of the brain. It's an added fiction. Yeah. yeah. Which is completely useless. It, that, as you say so, well, apparently, apparently that aspect, in some sense, has disappeared in what used to be Tony Parsons. And Tony Parsons, or what appears to be Tony Parsons these days, is still functioning very well and nicely. So that's yeah. clearly. He's a limb, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> but the only the, the only thing about that is that the problem, the dilemma, the economy has is that it feels as though it lacks something. It's, it yeah. feels as though it's lost something. 
So that, so that it then starts looking for the something it thinks is lost. And what's being suggested here is that all that is a fantasy. Okay, I mean this is clearly yeah. it. But 
uh, something happening in the body, the body reacting on a, on a biological level, for example, there's this, uh, there's, a, there's a noticing of fight or flight. No, wait a minute. Who notices? I didn't. You're bringing somebody into it, I'm not. Oh. Oh, well, if there's a noticing, there must be something that notices. Sure, we can play that game. Well, there isn't. Precisely. Right. Let's go beyond that. Right. There's something happening in the body. Apparently. Apparently. It can be felt. And don't go back to who's feeling it because there's nobody feeling it. Oh, right. But there's something. Right. me what, what I'm going to now say from now on. Are you the, the, the rest Is there a difference? Of the afternoon, Is there a difference? I'm not telling you what to think. Oh, you're not telling you what to think. think. I'm asking if there's a memory. Sorry? Well, let's go on. All right, let's, let's, go, all let's go beyond. Fine. Uh, but in the body, again, I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this because... No, I don't, I'm not sure we're not, but anyway. That's fine. So, okay. Well, good. <laughs> there isn't anything we, we're anywhere we're going to get to anyway. There isn't any way to get to. Precisely, but we have to use language here because we've agreed to do that. Um, I heard you say that you can still have fear and emotions. Past there, there, fear and emotions arise. There's nobody that has them. So that's on me. The same. Me thinks it has them, but they are just what they are. So that's on the same level as a thought popping up or yeah. you're passing by. The other words, just yeah. But there is only what is. But does it feel like? A there isn't anyone that notices or recalls a feeling of fear. There's just fear. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So if, if there's oneness, if it's all oneness, um, I mean everyone, well, like there's a different perception than here, or, I mean, well, yeah, yeah there is, yeah, yeah. I can see those flowers that they just say, you can see these faces, or everyone, sit, everyone sitting somewhere else. So it seems to me like um, you need the brain, well, the brain, for one, so everyone. A brain, a brain records what is apparently seen. Yeah. Um, and th there's no longer uh, another energy which is the brain creates called me, which is a separate energy, which then perceives the flowers as being an object. <coughs> so when the me is no longer there, 
what is seen is what is, which is nothing flowering or uh, um, it, the flowers are and are not, or they are real and unreal. But there's nothing that knows that, that's just the way it is. Because the way it is, is that this reality, or this apparent, the natural reality, is no thing appearing to be something happening. For the me, the reality is that the, the what arises is separate from me and is happening to me. The brain is certainly a computer and it goes on functioning regardless of whether there's a me or not. And I mean, if the brain is the computer, I mean, there are lots of brains, let's say, and there, there seems to be some connection in the sense that you know, it seems like it's the same room and we're having similar Oh, yeah, so in one way it's the same, in another way it isn't. All the time there's a me, what the, the appearance in the room seems to be separate from me. So me lives in a subject-object reality. It's an artificial subject-object reality. When there's no me, then there's nothing that's separate. But that can't be described or known. There's nothing that knows that. The brain is, is only really, in a sense, of course, there's a brain that functions and, and reads and, and so on uh, in terms of what, it, what is seen. The brain is obviously a functioning now, but it's only a computer. It's only a, a nothing computing what, how it appears as everything. Yeah, no, it's not there yet, is it? <laughs> What do you think? I mean, don't forget that the seeing uh, or the living in a subject-object reality is an illusion. It's the only illusion there is. The only illusion there is, is in the me experiencing that everything is only real. The me lives in a real world only. It might give lip service to the idea that something unreal, but what it experiences is a solid object over there, it's ten feet away, and it's a solid object called her. <laughs> and she, you know, as far as the me is concerned, the, the sense of that is that it's solid. Because it's not solid, it's particles taking that form. It's nothing taking that form. But when the me suddenly collapses, the natural reality is, is seen. And that is that that is real and unreal. But don't you start putting words on it? It sounds as though there's something there that knows that. I'm afraid there isn't. But in order to answer the question, I'm putting it into words that can be recognised. But in the end, what's seen there can't be known. There isn't anything that knows that. So there isn't something here that's aware that that's really an unknown. It's just really an unknown. So, I mean, the reason why I'm asking questions is sometimes when I sit there, the feeling, the way I can describe it, it's like as if there's emptiness, there's no one really, it's like it's, there's oneness, but then, then the force comes dwelling in it, but we are different, then, then there are all kind of thoughts come. That's the dilemma. The great dilemma, in a way, the fundamental dilemma. First of all, is separation from me. But of course, part of that dilemma is the idea, this is very esoteric, I'm afraid, that the absolute becomes the relative. That the formless takes form, becomes form. Actually, they're both the same thing. How can, how can nothing be everything? Well, it is, I'm sorry. But that's unknown. It's a, it's a, you could say it's a miracle, but that sounds a bit spiritual. What you're looking at is the infinite. And what's looking at is the infinite. That maybe I'm left to may I suggest thinks it isn't. <laughs> or feels it isn't. Not only thinks it isn't, but actually energetically feels it isn't the infinite. That it's looking at the infinite, therefore it's separate. Yeah?
And that's what he searches for. What he searches for is infinite. Me. For me, it can only arise in the finite. So he's looking for something that for which isn't there. And may I also say that, I mean, part of the story, and for me, it's the infinite, this word in the world. I remember, like, years ago, the, you know, the infinite had a big meaning for me. It was like, wow. It was the first time I knew something exists that, that was someone had the infinite. Yeah. And somehow since then, that has been, you know, in this story, so there's this amazing longing for it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. When I was a kid, I was absolutely when I was a kid, I was absolutely sure that God was everywhere. If he wasn't everywhere, he was no bloody good to me. I was just not interested in him. If he was only in the church or somewhere, <coughs> it had to be in everything. It had to be everything. Yeah. And then I went rushing off looking for it. <laughs> There is no me. Oh, well, it's, it sounds as though it, is, it doesn't exist at all. It, there is an appearance. Nothing me's. Nothing arises as an apparent me who feels as though it needs to be separate. Energetically. That no thing is not becoming one thing. No. Nothing there's, is simultaneously. It's simultaneously. There's no moving, there's no time, there's no. Right. That's why you can see there's it. There's no above or below, in or out. Mm -hmm. There is only what is. Yeah. 
having a glimpse has nothing to do with me? With me, no, no, nothing glimpses, you could say, another mystery. No. You, you know, me is going along wishing for the infinite, and suddenly there's only the infinite. For me, is, me isn't there, it, 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 it can't be in something you're looking for, because it already is. So suddenly there's the infinite, and then me walk, seems to walk out of the other side and want to own the infinite. There's certainly nothing. There seems to be a dance style for that. There seems to be a, a movement in and out of a lot of people. They're in that sort of limbo where there's still a sense of me and also a sense of something. Yeah. And then, then, and then you could say that the, the apparent me just vanishes, is no more. There's only an infant. There's only what is. And isn't. But um, it, it looks like um, um, it, it's a, I can't speak English, so. but it looks like uh, you can't do nothing. Oh, no, no, no it's sometimes far worse. it happens. It's far worse than that. Uh, yeah, it isn't that you can't do anything, it's yeah. that there isn't, that the, the you is an illusion, there's no you. Yeah. But knowing that, why do you? Is isn't that just the concept. Yeah. 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 And not only that, of course, not only is there no you <coughs> that can do anything, but there's something to do. Because this is already fulfilled. This is already totally fulfilled. Yeah. And so is this. And so is this. They're all the same thing. In other words, there's only the whole. And nothing in the whole. Nothing and Well, there is only nothing holding. Holding. There's only there's only everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and everything. It's a new word I Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and but why is it so um, energetic? I don't know what it is, but why is it so energetic? It feels like energetic. Yeah, it is. Something here. It is. It is. Here, right. Yeah? You understand me? <laughs> uh, well, why, why, why does I feel so more free here than when I'm somewhere else? Well, I'm what surprised if you feel free because you aren't. Although me is imprisoned yeah, in, in, but in, in an injury. But, but in a sense, there can be a resonance with a sense of freedom. Yeah. But the, you're not having it. So. No, what, what is happening there? Oh, what nothing. Nothing is happening. <laughs> but it looks like I'm feeling resonant yeah. and energetic. It may be interpreted by you as a feeling of freedom, but it's actually simply resonance with freedom. Okay. Nobody's doing it. But, but, but that makes it very nice to be here. I mean, right. oh, so well, there is a play all the game then. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, but, but, but what makes then the difference? There is, there is so much difference then to being here or being not here. Well, really, in a way, there isn't any difference. It's just that, in a sense, when there's an opening, the meeting wouldn't have it, but when there's a sense of something that's beyond self seeking mm -hmm. and it meets that which it longs for, then there can be a sense of a freedom. Yeah, but that's what happened here. Mm. Yeah. But what is longed for isn't any ones, it's just boundlessness. Yeah. But that's what I feel here. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, you it's not to be here, but it's just to be. Yeah. yeah. But it makes it confusion. Yeah, because me always wants to claim everything. <coughs> so we're so used to, all the me is so used to claiming everything, that if there's a feeling of freedom, it claims it and that takes it inside. <laughs> It's a big sticky blob <laughs> which takes ownership of everything and says, I feel freedom. So that's what I'm doing. Then I make Maybe a difference. It something. doesn't matter though. Nothing matters.
this dissolving of the me in you and it didn't happen, but could you describe what happened and not happened? Oh, joy. <laughs> Are you talking about this thing here? Yes. Yeah. Well, only that there, there was an apparent Tony Parsons who thought that he was going to one day become enlightened, glorified by all people, which was a very, very important addition. <laughs> and um, to some extent, he put some energy into finding out how he was to become enlightened. I have to add, very lazily, and not with any great effort. And then suddenly, uh, you could say, I mean, that's the story. And then suddenly, that whole energy of there being somebody who felt separate, who thought they could become enlightened, collapsed, or it vanished. It just wasn't suddenly there. And immediately that happened, there was a recognition by no one that there never was a Tony Parsons in a story who was seeking enlightenment. And thereafter, all that was left, well, there wasn't a thereafter really, you, but no, there wasn't then something living in recognition, there was simply body and what was and there was nobody that was aware of that, or knew that, or was conscious of that. There just was what is. There was nothing left but what is and what is. Then there was just this explosion of this energy. Not really, it wasn't very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> in this case it wasn't. Sometimes it seems to be, and other times not. It's just, it's like there's the reality, you know, Tony Parsons in the reality, looking around, uh, and then suddenly, people are able to agitate or piss each other off. So, uh, they are able to? Uh, agitate or piss each other off. Oh, yeah. How, um, how can one, the, problem, the question popped up, how is it possible for one illusion to have an effect on another illusion? There's energy, there's energy. All there is is energy. And uh, what can arise, let's say, between two people, is the energy of being pissed off. 
So there's an energy here which pisses off another. So the whole idea that this other person has uh, made me somehow pissed off is just, uh, it's not. The, the idea that somebody else has uh, made me pissed off is, is Well, there isn't anybody else, but all the time there's a me. Me relates to an apparent someone else. So, but that, but it, that doesn't have to be there for piss, piss, pissed off energy to arise. Um, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be a me for there to be being pissed off. So, pissed offness arises, and then I say, right, it happens because afterwards. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Me always wants a reason for it, so that it can know and be in apparent control. And justify my actions yeah. and so on and so on. Or me constantly wants to be in control, or constantly dreams of being in control. You sometimes uh, mention uh, little anecdotes about uh, people that you know of who have become what you call liberated. Well, yeah, maybe he does, but yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm very curious about how many numbers are we talking about. Oh, about 385. No, I don't know. There's no way of saying. We don't. No, but how many do you know? I don't know. You don't know. 